So, welcome to part two of our Geometric Morphometrics video series. In part one, you learned how to obtain the photographs, and now I'm going to show you how to edit them. So, editing the photographs is not a fundamental prerequisite for geometric morphometrics, but it can be very useful for viewing the features when line marking, which can be quite a monotonous task in itself. So, anything that speeds that along is useful. And then for the final paper, these graphics can really make your figures stand out. So, I'll go through this but you can go straight to part three, the landmarking section, if you wish. So I find that GIMP, GNU Image Manipulation Program, is the best software for this. It's free and it has all the required features. After selecting the best photograph of each specimen, I'll show you how to import it into GIMP, how to remove objects such as parts of the pins, um, contrast and brightness adjustments to better display the features, and then how to cut the photograph in the background, which is really useful for your final paper. So first, locate your photograph. Open with GIMP. So uh, now that we've got the photo open, um, one of the first things you could do is if your image is a bit dark, you can adjust the brightness and the contrast. So go colours and then brightness, contrast, and then increase the brightness, which can make some of the features faded, so then you'll need to equally adjust the contrast for that. And then this image has quite a yellow tinge from the lamps that we used. You can make a choice here. You can either carry it on with coloured image or you could desaturate it. So if you choose to have it coloured, the best thing to do is go colours and then colour balance. And then we can sort of de-yellow that a bit, make it more purple to adjust for it, to make it a bit more natural. But then equally, you could also make it monochrome because the current colours the sort of brown tinge from being in the ethanol doesn't actually look like what the fish would have originally looked like. So you can go um, colours and go to hue, saturation, and then just make the whole image grey. But that is completely up to you. Then if you want to sort of remove all the excess and just have the fish as you want it, select what you want to be cropped, and then go image, and then crop to selection and it will crop it into that box. So this is all that you would really need for the geometric morphometrics but if you want this photograph to be in your final paper perhaps on a scatter graph where you're showing your um, results of your geometric morphometrics then it would look quite nice to remove the background so that's the next step. So you click on this lasso tool here which is free select, zoom in and then it's really your choice as to how detailed you want it, whether you want it to um, be absolutely perfect or a bit more rough. So you'll go around the entire fish. A note is if you make a mistake, like so, don't press escape because it will undo everything you've done, which will be really frustrating when you get to the end. Make sure you press backspace instead because you see you press escape. That's all undone now.
So now when we get to the end, you just link up with that first point. And then you press this button here, the move tool. Edit, copy, and then you can just get a Word document. And then you can just paste that straight in. You can save as picture or do whatever you like with it. Um, the only other thing that you might possibly want to do is if you have, say, perhaps something there that you don't actually want, quite often you can have a black speck, um, such as these other things here, then you can use the clone tool to remove them. So you click on the clone tool, which is there, and then you hold control to select what you want to cover it with, and then you just cover it with that. Can look quite messy, but as long as it looks better than what was actually there, then it's fine. And that's all you really need to do.